I just, uh, I, rivalry, there's always rivalries. I mean, we've all experienced that in sport. I mean, um, I was never really a friend of met too many referees until I retired. And uh, so, but this is all sport. And, and that point, going back to splitting the classifications, mm. it does clearly become sport because you've got like against like, haven't you? You've got single amputees, you've got single amputees and double amputees against double amputees, which makes it very clear. It makes it very clear. I think that uh, I think that we've seen great competition between uh, double amputees and single leg amputees in the past, and we've continued to see that. But it's always been our intention to have separate classes in, in all our events. And you know, some people have always said to me, ah, but you have so many more 100 meters than, than the Olympics. But we're not the Olympics, we're the Paralympics. And that's what people are getting to enjoy now. Both sports, you know, both big sport competitions coming together in this one great festival. And they're, they're good for uh, the competition between athletes, but it's also good at bringing through grassroots athletes. If we have a look at this tweet from a certain Rio Wolf, we showed you this yesterday, and there he is, posing in front of his television. Alan Oliveira on his screen. Does that warm your heart, Philip? Yeah, You'd be a cold man if you didn't. But <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember Roger's second name from British Athletics, but he was talking to me uh, about the wider impact of the games in London and again these championships here, you know, of uh, the, change, the change of perceptions. And just by my side was Andrew Parsons, the president of the Brazilian Paralympic Committee. And, uh, and I know that they've got plans for. Uh, for Rio to meet up with Alan Oliveira probably in London uh, this weekend during the anniversary games and then maybe maybe for this young boy to be in no, I'm you really shouldn't say this well, on air but maybe he may be invited <laughs> even to Brazil you know Wink, and Rio goes to Rio and know. he's going to chat to Channel 4 as well so well, well, well there you go maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe I shouldn't be coming so. to Rio and he's, well, he's obviously on the, the lookout for holidays. I'm not yeah. quite sure where Johnny Peacock's going to take him, uh -huh. or the British Paralympic Association, the UK Athletics. But, um, but you know, you talked about it, this is just sport, and yeah. sport is about creating heroes. Yeah, of course it is. Look at that young season. lad there. I mean, but, but you know, my, my two grandsons will be at the anniversary games this weekend in, uh, in London, and, uh, and George, who gave me that... Uh, story for the closing ceremony speech about when he was reading about pirates but he said well he's an amputee he must be an athlete and uh, and so george will be there as, as well with his sister and uh, they're all great Par paralympic sports fans and philip last year um, one of the uh, big milestones in paralympic sport was the signing by the ioc of the merging of cities from here on for host nations for the paralympics how big a deal and how come that hadn't happened before now before well, it hadn't happened before <laughs> no, but the, sorry. The, the, no, the first time this happened was for Beijing, and the first.